This is what I've gotten done over the weekend. I got the basic frame built. <laughs> got some of the X axis done. Some of the bearings look really, really loose. It might be because of the quality of the parts I got. So I might end up ordering a whole new set of parts. This was in line a second ago, but. That's a rough estimate of what it's going to look like. I haven't mounted my motors yet because I don't have a file to file down one side to make sure that they can be clamped. So I still have to do that. I need to flip around this motor bracket and that idler belt tensioner on the other side of this over here. It's backwards. It's supposed to be reversed. Those two pieces. Try to get my bed done, my spider. I got these ones done, they were just fine. Couldn't get the ones on the other end done because the parts I got were completely screwed up. That one's not fine, that one's okay, I guess. But the rest of them, as you can tell, were jacked up. Completely unusable. This one actually drilled out right, but the hole's just way too deep and the drill is too short. I have no leverage on that bearing. I attempted to build my extruder, but the instructions online are very vague and they don't show a lot, and I'm pretty sure I'm missing pieces. I had two long pieces like this, and I used one of them to build that because I couldn't find another long piece. So either I'm missing parts or the instructions are very unclear, probably a mix of both. These are the parts I have left, a bunch of bar clamps, printed springs, cogs. Got my Z access threaded bolts ready. There's my Y axis bars. They go across there. Don't see the point in mounting those yet. Here's my extruder part of it. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to mount the bearing into the other piece. Let's see if I can find that somewhere. This one right here. This, you can tell from where I tried to whittle it away with a pocket knife. This is supposed to have a groove all the way across so I can put a, a bar in there so I can mount the bearing and then press that up against inside to keep tension on the filament. That's not going to happen like that. So, yeah, I definitely need this new set of parts. There's no doubt about it. I was thinking about going with the Perusa Mendel and just using the Perusa pieces that I need, such as on the X and the uh, the bar clamps, to get rid of the whole spider assembly altogether. So the X would re be replaced by Perusa parts. The Y, I can't do the Z because the Z is the one big change with the Perusa model where it uses two motors up top instead of just one on the corner. So push parts are cheaper and I think it'll get me to where I need to be. Other than that, that's where I got this weekend. It's been a lot more time drilling, not really sanding, but drilling and uh, trying to figure out where everything goes. More time than I would have liked to have. So that's my setup. It's getting there. I think uh, maybe two weeks I'll be ready to start mounting electronics because I might have to wait for shipping. <laughs>